Zella, and you're listening to Frey, starting right now. Here's your host, Alfredo Leon. Back ally, this is indeed Frey as the Los Angeles Lakers retired Kobe Bryant's eight and 24 jerseys on Monday night against the Golden State Warriors during halftime of the game. The Warriors chose to not do their typical halftime regime in order to watch the ceremony, which was attended by former Lakers greats such as Jerry West and Shaquille O'Neal. The ceremony began with Kobe's short film Deer Basketball was played on the arena Jumbotron. Bryant was then introduced by fellow Lakers jersey retiree Magic Johnson and by Lakers owner G.D. Buss. After the introduction, Bryant's jerseys were revealed, one on each side of uh, former Lakers announcer Chick Hearns in the Raptors at, in Staples Center. Here is Bryant's speech. We'll be back afterwards. Enjoy. say, you know, it's, um, thank you so much for tonight, um, but, you know, it's not, you know, it's, it's not about um, my jerseys that are hanging up there for me, you know, it's about the jerseys that were hanging up there before, um, you know, without them, I couldn't be here today, they inspired me to play the game at a high level, magic, cap. Shaq pushing me every day, uh, Baylor, Chamberlain, Goodrich, Wes, Worthy, it goes on and on. And, uh, and secondly, it's about this class organization. And uh, Jerry Buss, your father, believing in a skinny old kid from Lower Marion High School in Philadelphia. <laughs> um, and it's also uh, about the next generation. It's about this current Laker roster that we have here. You know, it's about, it's about embodying the spirit that exists in those jerseys up there and carrying this organization forward so that the next 20 years are better than the past 20 years. And that's what it's about. And then it's also about the fans. Fans. Um, The media. Uh, I don't think you guys understand how present you guys were with me. You know, you guys were there with me at 5:30 in the morning when I was running the track and I was midway through my workout, and I didn't know if I could make it through. And I thought about the expectations you guys had, you guys had for me and you had for our team, and it pushed me through. It got me through those 800s and 400s and 100s at 5:30 in the morning. So I thank you. And uh, it's about family. It's about my wife, Vanessa. <laughs> you know, you guys don't know this, but the last game, my last game uh, that we had here against the Utah Jazz, I was really tired. I got home and I was like, you know what? I don't know if I can do this thing. Um, I got one more game left, but I don't have any legs. And she said, I want to show you something. I got a gift for you for your last game. And uh, she proceeded to show me a row of retired jerseys from Baylor, from Magic, from Shaq, from Cap, all with personal messages signed to me, including from Michael Jordan, including from the great Bill Russell, including from the great Larry Bird. And when I saw that, I knew then that I had to turn it up. I had to turn it up. So thank you, baby, for being an inspiration to me. And, uh, and lastly, our daughters, Natalia, Gianna, and Bianca. Um, you know, I, 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 I hope that tonight is not, you know, you guys know that, you know, if you do the work, you work hard enough, dreams come true. You know that, we all know that. But hopefully what you get from tonight is the understanding that um, those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway, um, that is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. 
And if you guys, if you guys can understand that, then what you'll see happen is that you won't accomplish your dreams. Your dreams won't come true. Um, something greater will. And uh, if you guys can understand that, then I'm doing my job as a father. Thank you guys so much. I love you. And, uh, Mamba out. Here is Lakers guard Lonzo Ball speaking about the Bryant jersey retirement and what he remembers from it. I mean, the, the moment I remember is when we looked up to the rappers and they had both of the lights on both of the jersey and, um, you know, just taking the thing off slow motion. It was crazy. And then all the, you know, all the fans that love him. And um, like I said, it's not, there's never going to be another Kobe. Are you willing to get up at 4 in the morning to, uh, you know, matches? I think it was 5.30, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I set my alarm. Warriors forward Kevin Durant was asked on how much of the ceremony he caught at Bork. Uh I caught about uh, the last 10 minutes of it when he right before he spoke. And it was just inspiring, man, to see two numbers go up, uh, you know, and just, just know the impact he had here in, in the Staples Center, but just in the... LA as a whole, so many people enjoy watching him play. He just put so much happiness to so many people. And, you know, I know a lot of people know him as the Black Mamba, but there's so many kids that picked up a basketball because of him. And that's, a, that's, that's what we do it for. So just super proud. I got a chance to play on his team one time. I was thinking about that before playing in the Olympics with him, and that was incredible. So, and beating him in the playoffs. So I got two things that I could tell my kids down the line about Kobe Bryant. So. It was an amazing, amazing night. I'm glad we were a part of it in some way. He was also asked if he got to talk to Bryant and more. Uh, no, nah, I mean, it was so much going on. I congratulated him, but it was so much going on. And uh, But it was an amazing night to see all the former players, his teammates, and the Laker greats here. It's just the basketball community showed love tonight and felt great to be an athlete, to be an NBA player. Durant also spoke about the former players that attended the the Bryant ceremony. Yeah, AI. Yeah, Bill Russell, AI. You know, James Worthy, uh, Gary Payton, and you see, then you see the guys that not a lot of people talk about all the time, Devin George and the Ruben Pattersons who played against them, and, you know, just so many guys down, I mean, DJ Benga, you know, you see so many guys that come out support Kobe, that shows that, you know, for one, he was an amazing competitor, for two, he was an amazing, amazing teammate, so... He did so much for this organization and for basketball as a whole. Good that, good that he was honored tonight with two numbers. He also mentioned about getting a number retired. First thing I said is I'm changing my number. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, nah, that, was, that, was, that was amazing. I mean, that's, I mean, you want to be honored for the work you put in as a basketball player and just the, the impact you had in the community and to the organization and to the, to the whole state of California with Kobe did. And, you know, it makes you think that if you just keep putting in work, keep putting in work, you see what happens at the end of your career, maybe you can be honored that way too. So it's definitely motivation for players like me. Here's more from Durant mentioning the Bryant ceremony. I mean, it just meant a lot. You know, you see, you see all these guys that paved the way for you, that taught you how to play basically, um, and kind of set the table for you. Um, you got nothing but respect and love, but to see them come back um, to support uh, another retired player, another guy getting his jersey retired, it's just, it shows that we come out and show love. I man, we compete against each other hard. We talk about, you know, this guy versus that guy. But at the end of the day, man, we, it's a, it's a small percentage of us in the world. And it's good that we stick together and it's good that we show love and support for each other. And it was just amazing. It, it almost got me choked up to see so many basketball players out on the court at one supporting one guy, man. That was incredible. Brian led the Lakers to five championships with three big with him wearing number eight and two wearing number 24 during his 20-year career. He's a franchise leader in a number of categories, including points with 33,643, games played with 1,346, three-pointers made with 1,827, and steals with 1,944. He also won two finals MVPs awards and one regular season MVP, and he retired as number three on the scoring list all time and a Michael Jordan and behind Carl Malone and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, whose number is also retired by the Lakers. What a great honor the Lakers did for Bryant. He deserved it as he had an unbelievable career with the Lakers, having all those accomplishments with points and championships and finals MVPs and the regular season MVP. He also won a couple scoring titles as well with the Lakers uh, around 04, 05, and 05, 06. But th those teams were not really great as they had a lot of guys such as Kwame Brown, Smush Parker, guys like that were on the team. As the Lakers weren't going anywhere those years, 
But for whatever reason, Brian put the team on his back and he was able to win a couple of scoring titles, proving how great of a scorer he was. Also, who can forget about his 81-point game he had against the Toronto Raptors in 2006, which is unbelievable. And also the second-highest scoring game in NBA history, which is what he did there against the Raptors. Only Will Chamberlain had more with 100 in a game. Pretty incredible what he did there. Also, all those 60-point games in a row he had in 07. It was unbelievable what he did there. Just an unbelievable score, unbelievable athlete. As It's tough to decide whether who was better, 8 or 24. 8 did win slam dunk contest in 97. He did do that. 24, though, won the MVP. And he won two finals MVPs. But he did win three championships with Shaq on the team as well. But he wasn't the focal point throughout most of the time as number 8. As Early on in his career, he came off the bench. But for whatever reason... He averaged 25 a game in his career as the numbers with his first 10 seasons with number 8 and his last 10 with number 24 are pretty identical. But it's kind of hard to pick which is better. I would say if I could choose 24 because he, he was more accomplished, doing individually uh, more accomplishments because he won finals MVP, he won regular season MVP. He did more stuff as the man with the Lakers. He was the man throughout that entire time wearing 24. He wasn't with 8 for the most part except for the last two years wearing number 8 after Shaq was traded to the Miami Heat, but for the most part, Kobe is the guy that he's been with the Lakers, and it's unbelievable what he accomplished. For uh, unbelievable that he was the first player to ever get his retired number twice by one team. That just shows what incredible talent he it was and Hall of Fame caliber he is. And now that the rules change that uh, players uh, could get three years after retirement, he's going to be inducted to the Hall of Fame pretty quickly. And he's the first ballot Hall of Famer for sure, especially what he did in his career, having all those incredible accomplishments. Even though people complain about, oh, Jordan versus Kobe, well, that, that shouldn't be talked about here. Just enjoy the celebration that that was done for Bryant, having his two jerseys retired. No other players ever had that accomplishment. Players have gotten retired jerseys retired by multiple teams that they were different numbers, but not two different numbers from the same team. Pretty incredible accomplishment. So at some point that was going to happen. People were debating whether one of them should have been retired. If one of them were to be retired, I would have said 24 because he was more of the man with the team. But number 8, he was unbelievable as well. He he became a star wearing number 8, and which made sense for him to have that number retired. As GD Buss said, if uh, the both numbers would quit to a career, like they're both we Hall of Fame career, it would be unbelievable. It's incredible that that happened. And one of the deserved... Uh, honored by Bryant as he's going to be a future Hall of Famer for sure especially first ballot once he's eligible it was pretty cool all those people attended all the former teammates and so that shows how incredible and, and opponents as well it shows how incredible respect they had for Kobe in, in his career it was just unbe- incredible and unbelievable that he was able to accomplish that and congratulations to him well deserved and uh, enjoy uh, the rest of uh, enjoy and uh Good luck in what you do with, with films, and that's what he's trying to do. And uh, enjoy, and congratulations for that honor. Well deserved, especially with the career you had. It, it, it's incredible for what he, he was able to do there. And uh, that should be like not thing to do with Kobe against Jordan. That shouldn't be the discussion, like I said. But it was unbelievable what happened with Brian getting the honor. Like I said, it is pretty incredible and amazing that, that he got that accomplishment. Because of what he did in his career. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, all you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.